Dead Man Don't Wear Plaid. It was Miklas Rocha's score. Rocha, they yeah. took all his old film noir scores and they put them together in the Steve Martin movie. He, he hurt his back a week before. The, Miklas Rocha. Yeah, did. Yes. Right before the sessions. So Miklas that, Rocha, the composer of music for Ben Hur. Right. right. Legendary. Among, legend. Yeah. The, and uh, no click tracks, no computers, nothing. You just had to conduct. You had a clock and your baton <laughs> and the score. So they knew that I could do that because I'd done that a few of those. So they, they grabbed me. I sat with his scores and the movie playing it and got used to the timings. And I'm telling you, you had to do things like you were coming up to a cut and he would have an accelerando. So you'd be bum 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 and you had to be there on the cut, you know. You do this all the time, you know this. It was a great, great experience. Well, Carl Reiner was the director and everything was wonderful. There was a scene where Steve Martin's kind of walking down the street going into this bar. And Carl was like, you know, I wish the cue was a little jazzier. It's just a little dark, a little dour right now. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not the composer of this film, by the way. And the 10 year old boy who, among the first films he saw, yeah. was Ben Hur, is now faced with saying, Am I going to rewrite yeah. music so, of this legend? <laughs> I'm thinking about this and I'm saying, Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? It hit me, I looked over at that wonderful pianist, Mike Lang, who was over there, and I looked over here, and I forget the bass player, but I might have been Chuck DeMonaco, mm. great string bass player, but also good great rhythm jazz player, player. Sure. jazz players. Yeah. I said, here's what we're going to do, guys. <laughs> Chuck, the bass line that's written, you're going to play, the, the, the bassists play it, but you're going to walk it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you're going to walk the line that's written. Mm -hmm. And Mike, you're going to grab a few of those chords and just kind of add a little, we did that. And all of a sudden this serious, <laughs> Carl Reiner was ecstatic. I didn't change anything. I didn't change Mr. Rocha's score. Just... I just had a little, a few bumps added you to it. Like a, sh a, a chef adding a little seasoning, <laughs> a little seasoning. to the master chef's stew. But you know what? Stew. It's not a compliment to me. What it's a compliment to is that these players did it on the first take. They, I said it. They knew what I meant. They knew what to do. They took care of it. That's magical. You cannot. I don't care what it costs. That's, there's nothing like that. And the fact that it was live is even more incredible. There was no overdubbing. It was just right there. 